My name is Michał Śledziński and uh, I'm one of the in-house directors in Human Arc Animation Studio. Uh, I'm also a writer and director of the Warsaw game trailer. I will lead you to the process of making our emotional animated feature. I fell in love with a city At first sight it looked pretty We used to share the same love for grey in Human Arc, we specialize in advanced CG animation for the purpose of films, advertisement and TV series. But this time our task was something different, something we all grew up with, uh, a story told by the 2D animation. We assembled with people from inside and outside our studio, and you can call it a special task force. Uh, people who create uh, comic books uh, and are big fans of Japanese animation. And we started to think, how do we want to tell our story? And what the viewer should feel at the very end? We got a lot of designs from game creators. We, we knew how the game works and we knew the settings. Well, I mean, we know the setting because we are walking and driving on these historic streets every day. We also knew that Warsaw Uprising isn't an easy topic and we need to focus not on the historical or ethical side of this tragic event, but we wanted to be on the people's side. And that meant it couldn't be a happy story. When people fight for their city, it means they are fighting for their families, their friends and their close ones. And this meant that the heartbreaking war story had to be told. And we got only one and a half minutes to achieve that. We wanted a condensed tragic story that emphasized the roles of both women and men during the Warsaw Uprising. We wanted to tell a story about the people who lost everything. Their lives, homes, dreams, everything was burned to the ground. We used every 2D animation technique that was needed at some point of the creating process. Uh, rotoscoping, cutout, and uh, classic stop motion. So this project links different styles of animation, like 2D creative drone animation and digitally crafted backgrounds and photorealistic simulations. So you have different styles come into another, a very creative way. And this is one of the strongest features of our studio. We work digitally, of course, but the whole project got its uh, retro vibe. Uh, it's something that we remember from our school days. Uh, drawing on technical papers, uh, cell by cell, uh, drawing by drawing, and remembering of cleaning the lines uh, and being very focused for a long time. It all took three very long months and hundreds, hundreds of drawings to tell one simple truth. Uh, that even in the darkest times, there's a place for hope and love. <laughs>